Okay, here we have a question on differentiation and its application to, to equations of lines and graphs. Uh, this is the first Maths GCSC um, exam paper question, and it's in three parts. The first two parts you can see on the screen now, and the, the third part, which is much longer, um, worth five marks, is there. So you can have a go at those before you look at the solutions. Okay, so um, we're told the graph passes through 0, 0. The rate of change with respect to x is always a half. That means it's not changing. If it's not changing, it means it's a straight line. So it tells us that y is equal to something to do with x plus c is a straight line. And the rate of change, which is the gradient, is the half. So it's a half x. And because it goes through 0, 0, there is no plus c. It's plus 0 because it comes through 0, 0. So we know it's a gradient of a half. There's the equation. And we just need to plot some points. So 2, 1. Um, 4, 2, be careful to get the point actually in line with the 2, that would help. And then we can draw a straight line hopefully through those points um, to show that equation. Okay, part B. A graph passes through 1, 2, so it goes through 1, 2. Uh, the rate of change with respect to x is always 0. So that means as you go across 1, you're going up 0. Um, so that tells us that it's not going up. So it's just going to keep going across like that. So it's a horizontal line. Um, it's in fact the line y equals 2. OK. Part, there are only one mark question. So part uh, B, C, sorry. Uh, we're looking at um, some differentials. So we've got the, the we've got an equation y equals two x cubed plus ax, where a is a number. Uh, the value of dy by dx is this and that. Let's work out the value of a. So first of all, we need to work out dy by dx the best we can. So when we're differentiating, we're using this rule that the differential of something um, x to the power of something is going to be a times that to the power of 1 less than it was. So when it's uh, x cubed that becomes x squared and that 3 comes down to multiply by the 2 that gives us 6x squared. And when x is on its own x to the power of 1 that becomes x to the power of 0 so that's, no, that's just the number 1. So that just gives us an a there. So the differential is 6x squared plus a. And we're told when x is 2 uh, when x is 2, uh, dy by dx would be equal to um, 2 squared, which is for make sure you square before you times by the 6. So 2 squared is 4 times 6 is 24. If you didn't square it first, you'd end up with 12 squared, which is 144, which is much too big. So that tells us when x is 2, dy by dx is that. And when x is um, minus 1, dy by dx equals... Um, 6 times minus 1 squared plus a, so that's going to be minus 1 squared is 1, so that's just 6 plus a. And we're told that this value is twice the value of this. So this one is bigger than this one, so um, this, it tells us that 24 plus a equals twice 6 plus a. So 24 plus a equals 2 6 is a 12 plus 2a. Take away a from that side. Um, let's just note this down. So we're going to take away a from here, take away a from there. I'm going to take away this 12 from both sides. And that gives us 12 equals a. Um, and there we're done. 12 equals a. For 5 marks. Um, I think you would get one mark, certainly if you got that answer you get one mark, one mark for that, uh, one mark for getting this, um, and showing something along these lines where so this is equal to twice that would be a method mark, which you would if you made a mistake here, if you showed whatever you did here, this this one was equal to twice whatever you got here, you would get a method mark there.